So you have the list of stuff you can easily divvy up. But then there's the bottom part of the list of all the activities that are not that fun that we have to have a major negotiation about. Those are all, those are all women things, I've noticed. Those are really better. Really? Do you think yeah. we have an innate ability to put the trash out? An innate ability to empty a, a cat litter box? Yeah. Women yes. love that stuff. And we're back in the lounge, continuing our conversation with Stacy Cockrell and Kathy O'Neill, authors of Baby Proof in Your Marriage. We're continuing our conversation about the difficulties of living in a 50-50 parenting marriage environment. And I guess our question is, so our ambition now is to, is to achieve the ideal of 50-50. Right. What are that's the, the best goal. ways? That's the goal. We, we agree. That, that's a fair goal. And I think the reality in, in some households. And some. Two. <laughs> yeah, that's what, we've, that's what we've heard, allegedly. We yeah. It is in mine. It took some yeah. work, but that's, we got That's it. the ideal. We all agree that that's the ideal. It's difficult given, you know, sort of the changes in gender roles and all the difficulties we've already talked about. It's a hard ideal to achieve. So what are the best ways uh, that we can all employ to get to 50-50? Because I ain't there. Well, yeah. I think you need to figure out what each participant is doing. The first thing you need to do is make an everything list. Everything from earning a paycheck to mopping the floors to taking kids to the birthday parties to buying your mother-in-law a birthday gift. I mean, everything you do. Dry cleaning, figuring everything. out where you're going to send them to school, figuring out family vacations, Christmas gifts. I mean, we could sit here it's for the next astounding. 10 minutes and just list everything. But most people do put, do don't put, do that. Do you most put making a list on the list of things that you do? Yes, if it that's helps. The, that's yeah. number one thing you do. You make okay, a list. So this makes perfect sense to me. You're going to try and catalog in an inventory of every task that, that you're doing in a given week or a given month in the, in the house. Yes, because most people don't even know the work that's in front of them. It's astounding, and everyone is just reacting all day. And you get into these scorekeeping arguments mm -hmm. of, oh, I just, you know, I just emptied the trash, or, well, I just did the dishes. You want a gold star. Right. So you really need to understand what's in front of that's you first. True. I think you know, women don't understand what us guys do. No, they don't. They have they no don't. idea. Yeah. I mean, they really, you don't know. Yeah. I mean, you just don't and know. This is why we don't know, because you, you, haven't, you haven't listed it all out for us. We you know? know. I've got to change the oil. Yeah. Do they know that? Do they know yeah. that I've got to change is the oil? Is changing the oil the same as watering the plants inside? I checked the tire pressure. Yeah. I changed the oil in my car a couple weeks ago. Do I get points I'm for happy that? to say I've never done that. Nor, like, nor do I have had like, any plans like ever to do it. You know, with a filter wrench, you went out there and did it yourself, or you like took it to the Jiffy Lube? No. You took it to the yeah. Jiffy Lube, didn't you, Stacey? Okay, yeah. so you've well, got your everything list. Everything yes. list. Yes. So it's a huge list, what it takes to, to keep what, the household going. What do you think, what do you think uh, uh, women, so some, of the, some, of the, some of the things that women have on the list that men have no idea about? What well, would you be, put on there? It should be things like even buying the kids their clothes. Yes. You know, I mean, men... Weeding out all the clothes. What about yeah, the yeah. old ones? You got they, they have to go yeah, to Goodwill. Yeah. It took me a whole day to do. I have three kids. You know, well, my husband had no that. idea. Yeah, tasks like that. Um, anything that involves sort of the micromanagement of a child. All the activities that you sign them Men seem to be sort of oblivious to that. Oh, goodness, no, I don't do clothes. I know that what I don't want my daughter to be wearing. <laughs> yes. Right, which is, yeah. it's hard. it must be very difficult to shop for, but so I don't, yeah. nothing that says juicy on the bottom. Yeah. I don't but is that, you know, is, is, that, is that difficult? Do you enjoy the clothes shopping? Because I'll say, there's some, there, I think, there are intrinsic male activities like mowing the grass, washing the dog, that kind of stuff. When you do your everything list, what you'll see is that you will be able to look at it together and say, well, actually, I wouldn't mind Right. Doing that, right? And he, and he can say, well, listen, I'm okay taking responsibility for the cars. And, you know, I could say, well, I'm okay taking responsibility for Christmas gifts or whatever it might be. And it would be okay. scary to see what my husband would dress my kids in or yeah. what he would buy. Once you get the list up, do you have a draft pick? Yeah. Do you go one through, I mean, do you go through and you say draft? Okay, with the first choice, Daddy Clay takes dishes. Okay. Or do you say, okay, we're going to take all these tasks and split them 50-50 so that we, you're, going to, you're going to alternate the diaper pail emptying right, right. or you're going to alternate the dishes or scrubbing the toilet. I mean, do you, do you split them all 50-50? Well, you, so you've got the, the part of the list that's the obvious divvying up, like the shopping or mowing the lawn, you know, stuff that, again, you have the intrinsic interest. And are we indulging in just horrible gender stereotypes? Well, we probably right? are, but what the hell, you know. Are there, are there like any trans? chore vites out there? There, there probably are. is. I do the laundry, scrub the toilets, and vacuum 
just so I didn't have to write any thank you notes. Oh, for God's sake. Don't yes, the thank, thank you note, note discussion. Yeah. So, yes, yeah. We're, we're stereotyping to some degree, but you know, we're just trying to make a generalization to make a point. So you have the list of stuff you can easily divvy up. But then there's the bottom part of the list of all the activities that are not that fun that we have to have a major negotiation about. Those are all, those are all women things. I've noticed those are really better. Really? So you think yeah. we have an innate ability to put the trash out? An innate ability to empty a, a cat litter box? Yeah? Yes. We do. I wasn't, aware, the no, the, I wasn't yes. aware of that, really. Yeah. Oh, OK. Women love that stuff. That's, that is fascinating, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Yes, my mother yeah. took me aside my whole life and just told me every chore, how to do everything. This is no, how you, yeah, do we have, we have secret really clubs really when we all get yes. together and discuss we'll the, the, the best techniques for you know, and how to wash the dishes and everything. No, but Drink oh no. beer while you're doing it. Drink beer, it'll make it fun. But for those chores that nobody really wants to do, it yeah. probably is a good idea maybe to alternate them, you know, one right. week on, one week off, or to do, look, I'm on trash duty, therefore um, you're on, I mean, what's as bad as taking bad. out the trash? Toilet. Scrub, the toilet, toilet scrub. Exactly. The the Emptying the, you know, you've got to be the, fair. The diaper trash. The, the diaper worst. trash. Yeah, yeah. I always get that. I never yeah. the, toxic, that. the toxic pile. Now, do these things come, like there's kind of equal things you should do, do these bottom things that are very unpleasant come with like six points? You're more likely to score if no. you take those. No, the last thing. you don't want to associate. Uh -huh. trash. There's no point. Like sex trash. No, 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 no. Dirt, toxic diapers. And if you you're want into those Owen points, that, they get yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Let's keep those, you know, you clean and separate. Uh, exactly. The one thing that's nice is that we know that in marriages and raising kids, we're never going to run out of things to do. No, um, our so there's, there's plenty of opportunities for us to to practice this 50-50. Uh, principle and, and hopefully we'll all get better at it. If you've got any techniques or ideas about splitting up the domestic chores, just drop us a comment uh, right here on the site and uh, maybe in our next meeting we'll get a chance to address some of those things. So uh, thanks a lot and thank you ladies for joining us here in the lounge. Thank, thank you. you. This is fun. Whose job was it to get the beer, by the way? <laughs> They pretty much failed missed. miserably. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, because just I mean, the, la the ladies are here, we don't get any beer. It's 10 a.m. It's like the lamest segment we ever did. Oh, I know. Totally yeah, sure. sober. Yeah. Sitting next to Brad.